All right. What we're going to do now is a neck placket. Can anybody tell me what a placket is? Do you know? A placket is a place where buttons attach. Okay, so think your button down shirt. You've got a placket. Nobody, are you wearing a button down? You're wearing a t-shirt? Everybody's wearing t-shirts. Um, now think of like a Henley that has the three buttons at the top and the crew neck. We're gonna do that placket. So just the pieces of fabric that wrap around the two raw edges that have overlap for buttons. So we're gonna do it on a men's torso sloper just because his, um, it's nice and square and it's easy for me to visualize a neck placket on a men's shirt. So that's what we're gonna start. The first thing we need to do is we need to think about proportion. We need to decide how big our closures are gonna be. What size buttons are we gonna put in here? What size buttons are usually on a Henley? They're pretty little. They're usually like, I don't know, half inch buttons maybe. So if I do quarter inch buttons, then I need my placket width here to be the diameter of the button plus half of the diameter of the button on either side for clearance so that when it sits, it sits square and you've got negative space on either side of the button. So I'm just gonna draw where my placket is gonna be. I look at my mannequin, take the cover off my mannequin, kind of visually decide how far down you want that placket to be, how many buttons you're gonna put on there, are you gonna have it down to just chest line? Are you gonna have it go to belly button? Are you going to have it be a full closure, a fully separating closure? Uh, if you're thinking about your design lines, you don't want it to start mid trunk or stop mid trunk in the body. So you don't wanna do halfway because that just makes the eye hurt. So I chose to end mine at chest line. So I figured out on my mannequin how far that was going to be. Do I need to drop the neck? Remember your slopers, your neck's pretty high. So that's going to come right there at the hollow of your throat. That's where this sloper is ending on the neck. And do you want it that high? If you were designing, you might want to design the neckline first and then design the placket after to make sure that your neckline is set where you need it to be first. So I designed mine for a three button chest line placket. And I drew that on the sloper first. Now, if you're looking at your instructions, it will say the pattern pieces that I am requiring you to turn in are the placket, but also the bodice, so that I know what your plan is. Okay? So, now I have my plan. I need to know how big my plan is. So I'm gonna measure how big is my plan. My plan is two and an eighth, or yep, two and an eighth inches. So I would draw a line that big. Wait, uh, uh. How wide is my placket? Well, I've got a quarter inch button. I have an eighth inch of clearance on either side. So that is how big my placket is. Your placket, however, works like double fold bias tape because you're enclosing a seam with it. So this becomes the center of my placket. Or the fold line, 